Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Somil and in this video I'll be talking about how can you essentially add a partition on an Athena table. So say you have an Athena table and let's say you are essentially querying a lot on that particular column. Maybe you want to add a partition, right? So how do I do that, right? Well, you could do that using a glue job, which is a little more expensive. So this video I want to show you is in Athena Cetas query. Uh, by the way, if you uh, don't know, I have made a lot of contents on AWS, right? Uh, my last video was essentially how we can monitor essentially Athena cost, right? So essentially we wrote a simple Lambda function that essentially runs every day and it pulls out the matrix from essentially different, different work groups. What that essentially allows us to do is essentially, it essentially helps us to answer questions such as, okay, which database scan is being performed the most, right? Uh, which work group is using most most of the data scan, right? So all those important questions could be answered if you have the data, right? Please watch the video if you have any questions there. So this video I wanted to talk about, um, uh, as I said, right, partition. So I have this simple database called reports, right? And if you observe, uh, these are the columns and by default it is partitioned by year, month and day, as you can see here, right? But say I observe that people are querying a lot on a field or on a column called database. There's a column called database, right? So let's say the people are querying a lot on that field, right? So how do I add a partition? So let me show you and walk you in this video. Again, uh, there are a lot of ways, but I prefer, I, I, or essentially I encourage you to do a uh, Athena Cetas instead of a glue job because that will save you a lot of money as well. So let's get started. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see my screen, right? So what I'm saying here is create a database. So since I'm gonna query uh, my table based on the database, so I'm gonna say partition database. So reports partition database, which means reports table, uh, right? And it's partition on the, uh, on the column called database, right? Again, whatever naming convention you have, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, so now here, what I'm saying is, uh, if you can observe my screen, External location means I am providing the S3 path where this data needs to be saved, right? I'm essentially giving it a path. Uh, as you can see right now, I don't have a folder called, uh, you know, reports, uh, whatever that name is, right? So now here I can select uh, CSV, JSON, Parquet, ORC. If you are optimizing for your Athena queries, I recommend using a Parquet data format because Parquets are much more better. Uh, and again, I have essentially discussed all of these uh, in, a, in, in this video, right? So as I said, I, I encourage you guys to come and uh, basically, you know, uh, watch these videos. This is the video where we essentially talked about the cost. And I do have a video. If you come to my channel on the video section, I had a video on Athena Cetas, right? So again, this video, we talked about everything about like the Cetas, the bucket by uh, the right compression. So you could do all of that, right? So. Now I'm saying, uh, I'm just selecting CSV just for the demo purposes. Now I'm using um, an attribute here called partition by, and I'm giving it a column that I want to partition by, right? And uh, this is important, right? So whatever uh, column you want to partition, right? That column should be at the last in your select statement. So what I'm explaining you is if you just simply wrote a select star, this would give you an error. And it took me a while to understand after doing a lot of Googling and Stack Overflow, right? So since I want to partition this by a column on database, I have to make sure that that particular column is at the end of my select statement. This is important, okay? Now I'm going to run this. Uh, hopefully, let me first collapse this. Again, I don't have that table, so I'll, I'll run it. And uh, so, okay, so it's completed. Now you can see I have a folder called reports partition database. But if I go to my S3, I do have that folder now. That's great. So let me show you. So now, as you can see, I have three items here, uh, query execution ID, work group and database, and the database is partitioned. So now when I run queries on uh, this table, and when I try to essentially use the column database, my queries would be much more faster. Again, I encourage you to use a parquet and a compression for even further uh, faster speed. Um, by the way, I don't know if you guys know, but I also published a beautiful article on, on LinkedIn on Athena. So if you observe how we got 50 times faster speed, this article talks about all about optimization on Athena that we had, we, we did, right? So for example, uh, uh, as you can see, you should have a lot of files. Uh, don't have a lot of files, have a single file. So what uh, this author said, Mr. Hawkins said that having small, small files 
can impact your speed on Athena queries, right? Um, again, then the, 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 the next one is on the compression type, right? So which compression to use, which 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 file format to use, right? Basically, we um, chose Parquet, and if I have that graph somewhere, I'm not sure if I did. Yeah. So as you can see, right, data scanned um, with Parquet, Snappy, and then uh, you know. Uh, with Parquet and Snappy compression uh, without partitions, right? So as you can see, right, having partitions on, the, on those um, columns, right? Selecting a Parquet file format and as I said, right, uh, having large files will essentially help you to achieve a faster performance on your Athena queries. Again, I hope these videos are useful. Uh, you know, these are stuff that you would encounter in your day-to-day -day work, right? For example, speed issues, performance issues, right? How do you optimize that, right? So I hope uh, Athena Citas can help you to essentially create partitions and, and do all of these amazing items. I'll leave all the other videos uh, in the description. So if needed, you can check that out. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next upcoming videos.